the experience that we have, I do a lot of research about um, for campus ministry. Even before we started, like I was always looking at like campus ministry stuff. And the experiences that we have is completely like different. It is. That's why I said from the beginning, a we lot. had there was just this vision of doing everything um, organized. Mm -hmm. And like when you see groups of kids doing like or like young adults doing things, it's not always pretty. It's not always designed right. Like from the beginning, I'm hearing let's put in these lights for our uh, impact services. Let's do um, you know we're gonna have this person go up at this time. It was so organized. It graduated quickly from Bible study to now we're holding actual events. Yeah. Like this is actually church now. Mm -hmm. You know, just from pulling on different inspirations. It's like I don't want to be just just this regular ministry. Let's you know do it great or don't do it at all. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of what I got from it from the beginning. Like even before we started, like really moving and our spiritual gifts, where it was just straight Bible study or just straight like church or whatever. We were very adamant about creating an atmosphere mm -hmm. for students to experience the presence of Jesus. Right. And I remember one of the prayers that I would always pray was that when people walk over the threshold of the sanctuary or wherever yes. we're meeting, I would always pray that as soon as they step over the threshold that they will feel the tangible presence of God. And I remember, I remember the first and last revival that we ever did in Mount Vernon. Um, <laughs> my old youth pastor, um, he was pastoring in, I think, Ohio at the time. It might have been somewhere else. But um, he was pastoring, or he was already sent out the pastor, and he was in town, and he decided to stop by our service. And he kind of confirmed what the Lord was doing with us, to me at least. He hit me up, and I was expecting him to just, like, you know, just talk to me about the service and stuff. He was like, well, first of all, I want to let you know that I, was com I wasn't I was expecting anything serious from your service. I was just coming to support. I thought it was just going to be a whole bunch of young kids in here, you know, having fun and playing around and stuff like that, right. you know? And I was like, okay. And I didn't know, I didn't know how to take it at first because he didn't, he didn't lay everything out at first. So mm -hmm. I, he, was, he just laid things out in pieces. I'm just like, dang, I'm kind of offended that he would say something like that. But I let him finish and he's just like, yeah, but when I walked in, it was completely not that. You guys are so serious. As soon as I walked, right. as soon as I walked in, I felt the presence of God. People know we meant business. And okay. that, you, that was <laughs> that's that's what was so interesting about help because a lot of people looked at us at first when they first would meet us. Oh, they're a nice little Christian club, a social mm -hmm. group, and everything. But as soon as they got came to one of our Bible, experienced one of our Bible studies or came to one of our services, they saw how serious we were. Mm -hmm. And in that moment, if they wanted to be a part, they had to make like a serious decision, like. All right, am I really serious about the Lord right now? <laughs> yeah. And we would see people that will come and want to be a part, and when they notice how serious we were with our walk, if they weren't for that, they'll be all in. If they weren't trying to do that, they'll start inching out, backing up. Yeah, I'm mm -hmm. good with all of this. And but I feel like that is the key that we've probably inadvertently mm -hmm. shared to people on how to be successful is really your heart's intent. Mm -hmm. right. Like it doesn't take a lot because we didn't have a lot. We didn't we do a lot. We were so. very inexperienced, very young and broke. But broke. we had a heart that's for God. Mm -hmm. Like a real heart. Like somebody said to to say like, oh I just thought you guys were gonna play for Jesus, play around with Jesus, like that is like really offensive. Like I don't even understand like, or yeah. fathom how you could gather, take the time out of your day. But you gotta think though to play around with You gotta with think Jesus. though, at the time a lot but, of people our age were doing that. Right, but that's what I'm saying. So for us to have I guess at the age and it does it didn't seem like it then but looking back now like that is a key for any young person mm -hmm. that wants to just be successful in life and really living for the Lord is to really have your heart completely for God like it doesn't have to be perfect you don't have mm -hmm. to have all the resources but when you Absolutely. commit that you're gonna live this life for Jesus and do whatever you're gonna do for God like he'll do he'll do the rest Seriously, right. he'll do the rest. To elaborate on what you said about um, us not having money, we didn't have resources that we needed, but it was a faith alone that carried the vision mm -hmm. to this point. You know, just from, like I said, holding the fish fries and stuff like that and trying to pay uh, people to speak. Like, that that's the definition of faith. And mm -hmm. 10 plus years later, like, you know, 
the ministry is still thriving. And now we're flying still people. Th- so for people <laughs> who feel rooms. like <laughs> right. So for people who feel like I don't have enough money, I don't have um, a car, I don't have a job. Like if it's what you're meant to be doing, there's nothing on the earth that can stop that from mm-hmm. coming into fruition because God planned it. He predestined it before you were even born. So faith is super important. It has literally carried this ministry and look at all the wonderful things that have come from just believing. Mm-hmm. You know? That's how we live. The just shall live by faith. Like there's literally no other way to live. Right. But committing your ways to God and and trusting him with the impossible. And look where I'll get you. This yeah. and further. Yeah. I think one thing that we can say that proves to us the significance of our ministry, especially at Mercy College, is that there's been no other Christian ministry on campus. Mm -hmm. When you go to any other college, there's at least six different Christian ministries. What we did here on this campus was so, well, let me say it this way, what the Lord did here on this campus, like we were so in tune with God's will for this campus that there was nobody Mm -hmm. else has come to this campus to start something new up. Didn't even try. You didn't have to. It's such a didn't comfortable have to place because to be. If we were in the will you know, of God. That, yeah. Wherever, if if the will of God is the one is, is what's being pursued, mm-hmm. there's no reason to send another. And then everybody was welcome. Like we didn't make people feel like you know you can't. No. And you, that was no, interesting. No, you you can't you can't come here. And that no, was interesting because we went everybody. through a whole phase where people thought we would be like that just yes. because we, we were Christian. So people would be like, oh, yeah, you, you, y'all wouldn't want me at our Bible study because I'm yeah. gay or because yeah. I'm an atheist. Or, or I smoke weed. Uh, mm-hmm. Whatever you're going to do, do that and come. Like, you exactly. know what I'm saying? You have to be yourself. And that's what we wanted people Listen, to know. Listen, if these people don't, if, know. If, if you don't have people, if you don't have, like, people of the um, opposite lifestyle of what you promote showing up to your meetings, right. then there's something wrong with your ministry. Like, your, your services should smell like weed, should be full of people who struggle sexually, should be full of people who are like struggling and who are sick. Like, right. what's the purpose of you Those preaching are the, people the gospel? We want. Come on in. <laughs> what's the purpose of you preaching the gospel if they're not there? If people who need to be healed aren't there? Yeah, and also <laughs> right. I believe like this Mercy College is a very ripe place. Like you know, when it says a harvest is plentiful, like mm-hmm. this is a very plentiful, plentiful harvest place mm-hmm. <laughs> because it's full of pe- and just college in general. That's why you know. Kudos to any college campus that's doing it, but or that's yes. doing Christian ministry. But college in itself is like where people find themselves, right? In Christ, right? Or in something else, mm-hmm. right? 